who came up for the title of the new album? Uh, uh, that was Bjorn, and I think that it's it's a very personal title to him. So, I uh, I think that we should probably let him explain the actual um, you know meaning behind it. You know, it's I mean we could try, but I know that you know like I said it's it's such a personal one. So, you know, I, I, you'll get the explanation and not not too long from now yeah by the way i'll i'll, I'll uh, take this uh opportunity to say that this is only the first in a series of uh live broadcasts we're going to be doing from the studio and uh obviously some of the future ones will have bjorn yeah uh you know speaking to you guys so uh any questions about you know his vocals or any anything bjorn related side projects etc you're going to be able to ask bjorn directly about that stuff so we're not gonna We're not like dissing your questions. We're just not gonna answer these things when he's not here. Uh, right now, it's just me and Peter in the studio, and the other guys are are uh, you know coming to the U.S. Uh, very soon to yep. to continue tracking this record. So, um, Mederic Mederic asks, will there be a collector edition of the new album, like Stabbing? Maybe too early to ask. Yeah, it's, I don't know. I mean, yeah, that depends on the label pretty much. I yeah. mean, it would be, it would be nice, hopefully. Yeah. Hopefully they'll like it enough that they'll make some kind of... That well, crazy, that crazy I'll, I'll thing they made for uh, Stabbing was pretty nice. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure they're going to dig this one. So um, we'll see what happens. Yes. Uh, do you guys ever go to shows or festivals as a band when you're not playing at them? Uh Well, as a band, yeah, if it's a place we're already at, sometimes we will go and watch some bands. But uh, other than that, we live in pretty diverse places on this planet, so <laughs> we yeah. don't usually come together to go and watch uh, the show. <laughs> That's right. But um, well, we see you guys playing, even if just a few seconds in these live broadcasts. <laughs> Or some sounds. Maybe maybe there'll be some drunken moments when we're at, over at the house, or <laughs> we'll or we'll get on it and maybe All right. jam out it in tune or two. Who knows? I mean, we might even you know. We'll see what happens. Just uh, keep watching, and I'm sure something fun's gonna show up. Right. Uh, let's see here. Have you guys ever thought of touring with the Haunted? Oh yes, we have. It's something we've we, we've actually toured with them at at Ozfest, but we've wanted to. We've been wanting to do a tour with them, uh, a regular tour, but it just hasn't happened so far. But they're also very good friends, great band, absolutely great band. Great uh, guys. Yeah, great guys. We'd love to, to share the stage with them more often, definitely. Um, let's see, there was a few more questions here. Ooh, it's going fast. Um, <laughs> does the title of the album have anything to do with the live feeds you guys are doing? <laughs> is, it that, is it that bad, guys? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's horrible. Um, yeah. Do we seem desperate? Is that what it is? No, they're saying that the broadcast isn't superb, but oh, okay. maybe it's our internet connection here, guys. We're doing yeah. our best. We we have to do with what we got here. Um, yeah, sorry about let's that. Let's see. Yeah, sorry if it's not the the best. We're we're really trying. Um, somebody asked about how many songs we had written for this record. I think, if I'm correct, we have about eleven or twelve. Yep. And um, yeah, we're pretty much going to track everything. So it's all going to depend on. Uh, You know, like we still have to kind of decide what's going to be on the album and not. But yeah, that's about that's about what we have right now. So, um, what do you guys listen to aside from metal? Asks Coffee Maker Seven One Three. Well, we listen to a lot of stuff here. You go ahead. Oh man, the list is pretty long, man. I don't know, man. I I I listen to a lot of different stuff. I, I guess that's how you know how you keep being creative. And you know, I think that it, you you kind kind of get you know, uh, tunnel vision if you just listen to one music style all the time. You know, I'm not saying that metal isn't good, but, you know, if you're writing music and you want to try to be creative and, and create new things, you have to have a really open mind. I mean, I mean, I, I, Nashville has been kind of interesting for me because, you know, there's a lot of stuff that I've grown up in Sweden never heard before. And that's beside the countryside. It's just like, I actually went to the bluegrass jams. I didn't play myself because I, I don't can't stand a chance. But you know, showing up there on Tuesdays, you know, getting the barbecue and a pitcher of beer and just watching phenomenal guys play. I mean, I enjoy that. You know, and and pretty much, you know, like if someone writes a good song, I know that's very vague to say that, but a good song and good players, you know, pretty much any music style I can deal with. I'm not a huge, uh, you know, fan for like house and club music like that i you know i can deal with that but it's not to something i wouldn't listen to at home and otherwise than that i'm very diverse yeah same here i grew up with 
um, pop music and 80s old school hip hop. So I'm, I still like a lot of that stuff. I listen to electronic music, jazz, fusion, you know, progressive, pretty much anything I like. You know, it's it's really diverse. Um, Okay, let's see here where are we at. Let's uh, let's answer a few more questions, and then we're gonna have to go because we have some more work to do here. So yes. um, let's see. Somebody asked, "Do you guys ever read reviews of your records, and what do you think about them?" Um, I, d I mean, that's I don't know. I, I try to stay away from it because I think it's just for me kind of misleading. You know, it's it's basically. I know that they're important, but a lot of times I think that you know certain people that review records are kind of bitter. You know, and. You know, something that we've, I mean, I know the amount of work we put into something and how much we enjoy it. So if someone is just supposed to write really terrible things about what we're not doing anymore or, you know, how something is in a certain way, then I, that's why I don't really, I don't really read reviews anymore. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not too fond of following all that stuff anymore either. We just do our thing, but I'll read the good reviews that... <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, it's almost like, oh, have you read that review? Yeah, okay. Yeah, so, yeah exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Can fans watch you record? Um, well, there will be some videos out there very soon, so keep an eye on that. We're, we're filming a lot of stuff, so um, let's see here if we have any. Will we have any demos up in the near future? Yes, we do listen to Devo, um, Wonder Boy. Um, <laughs> or at least I've, I've listened to them in the past. Uh, will we have any demos up? I don't know about that. We're just going to work on this album, and you know it's going to be released soon, so I don't think there's going to be any demos. Um, how influenced are you guys by Pantera? Oh, my God. <laughs> well, yeah, that's, well, that's kind of obvious. <laughs> holy fuck. That's... If you're not influenced by Pantera, then you're missing something. Yeah, I mean, there's... that's Dimex is the whole reason. I know it's cliche now, but I've always felt that way. I mean, Dimex is the whole reason why I... Uh why I wanted to play metal, you know, I think for me, it was like the contrast of being able to do something that was so extreme and yet melodic, you know, I don't know, for me, it's, you know, that's, that's I still put Pantera way up there. You know? Absolutely. Same here. They're fantastic forever. Um, okay. A few more here. Let's see. We're, we're going to have to stop soon, guys. Um, Okay. Oh, here's actually an interesting one. What software do we use at home to demo tracks, says Joshua? Um, well, uh, personally, I use the TuneTrack software, Superior Drummer, which is great with electronic drums and very easy to use with any um, audio software. So I usually record my demo drums with that, and they're very easy to work with. As for you, sir. Uh, I mean, I, I write in a Pro Tools environment. I mean, that's that's since I produce in Pro Tools solely. And I used to work in, in Cubase a lot. I did. And then I uh, remember I saved up enough, enough money to buy myself a little LE system. And that's kind of how I started uh, writing. And I guess, uh, you know, maybe like two, three years ago, I got my HD rig, which, you know, it's, it's just, it's just, I would think that that this is the this is the only way we can probably compose and write stuff together because we're, you know, so so far away from each other. But at the same time, it demands a lot from everyone that they that we can um, all work in a in a soft you know with software and bounce ideas to each other. But I I would have to say that it, it works pretty good. You know, it's 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 it takes a little getting used to at first. But I think that it's it's a you know, obviously, it's not like jamming in a jam space, which has its, its own thing. But you know, we, we're making the best out of the situation. And I don't think that there's any way people can tell on this record that we didn't really no. got get together. You know, that's for sure. Um, all right, one last thing. Uh, let's see here. Um, okay, how long did you work on the new Superior Drummer Blast Beat Pack? Was it your idea or Tune Track? So that one's for me, obviously, about the Library of the Extreme. Uh, so I worked on that first pack for about three months, on and off, not the whole time, and uh, it was my idea. So I, I uh, have to say I, I submitted that to TuneTrack and they accepted it, and there's going to be more. So we're, I'm going to, as soon as I'm done with this album, I'm going to go work on the second part of that. So for those of you who enjoyed that, thank you very much. And uh, <laughs> I think that's pretty much it. I think we're going to wrap yeah. this up. Uh, maybe we'll give you a really quick... Uh, overview of the drum room here so um i'm just gonna grab the camera here and uh see if i can show you guys that Hi, a guys. little bit so um okay 
just a second here, people see what I see. All right, here we go. So try and show you this a little bit. <laughs> There's the drums with Mr. Witchers. <laughs> so that's the kit I've been recording on. Um, as you can see, this is a very big room right here. Um, lots of drum gear and different stuff laying around. Big uh, stained glass window there. And then behind me, right there, we have the control room. And uh, that's pretty much where, where it all happens, guys. All right, so thank you, everybody, for uh, checking in with us. Uh, there will be, as I said, a second broadcast soon. So thanks for all your questions. Sorry if, that we couldn't answer everything. Uh, we will be answering more very soon. And um, all righty, guys, take care. See you soon.